Hi everyone, it's Dina. So in this video today, what I want to show you is how you can download a free design or even a purchased design, extract that file, and then use it in the Silhouette software. Um, so where you see that I'm at today is the Love SVG website. It's one of my favorite places to get free files. Um, these are free for personal use unless it explicitly says that it has a commercial license. It does offer um, an option to purchase for commercial use if you plan to sell your designs at some point later on. Um, for today, I'm just going to show you how you're going to download these today. I'm not going to go through any of the commercial pieces. So, what you can do is um, it offers a, a search option. I've searched for a cactus design and I really liked this one. Um, it has a cute little face on this little guy right here. And I thought it would make a cute shirt or a sticker or something. You could add text to it that says free hugs or don't be a prick or, you know, <laughs> whatever that, that you want to put with that. Um, what you want to do is scroll down. And you can see in the description it's going to give you four file options. SVG, DXF, EPS, and PNG. So if you're using the free basic software, you want to use this DXF file, okay? If you have designer edition or higher, then you have the option to use the SVG file. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're looking for designs outside of the, the software. Um, PNG should work with your free basic. So the difference in these files, just as a little side note here, SVG, is cut ready you have to activate the cut lines in the send area the DXF is very similar to that in that it's going to be lines only it shouldn't be filled in with color which you know the only time that's gonna matter is if you're going to print something from your printer and then cut it on your machine like a sticker or something like that or, or print it on cardstock and make a planner insert a PNG is a graphic file so this is something that you're going to have to trace to obtain your cut lines and it won't have the separate cut lines like the SVG or the DXF file type. So as you scroll down further you can see that you can support them by buying them a coffee um, which is nice to do if you're going to you know use a lot of their files and then there's a pink button here that says download zip and what you're going to do is click on that and depending on how you have your computer set up um, it may or may not prompt you for this. Um, it may just automatically download to your default location, which is usually your downloads file on your computer. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like if it prompts you. If not, it's just going to automatically start downloading that file. And then you'll see the little um, icon down here on the bar at the bottom. Okay? Now, at this point, you want to navigate to that file for downloads and open it up. And you can see here's the Cactus 4261, as well as a few other files that I've downloaded. At this point, you want to extract that file, and you can do that with a right click, Extract All, click Extract in the bottom right, and now you have a folder of that same name. Okay, so the zip file has a little zipper on it and then the folder which is going to contain all of the documents in there okay um, so now how do you use this in the software Let me just minimize this we'll pull up the software here so you have a couple of options you can go to file open and you can navigate to your downloads folder find your cactus find your file type that you're going to use and click OK. So now you can see that it's one file for the PNG. Let me show you what the SVG comes in. So you can see that it opens it up in two different tabs here. Okay. Now the difference with this, when I right click on the SVG or the DXF, okay, you have the ability to ungroup 
or to release the compound path. On the graphic file, you don't have those options because it's one graphic, okay, one image. So that's the difference there. A lot of people get confused and they go to try to cut this and they don't have their cut lines or it has everything on this one image and you may not want all of that, okay? Um, the other way to open this is, if, let's say that I wanted to put something on the same workspace. I have an option here to merge and I can use the same file if I wanted to. Or let's say that I wanted to pull in another image to use in my design. I would find that image and then click OK. And you can see how that puts it on the same workspace. Now, granted, these don't go together, but you get the idea. You have your first image on the workspace and then the second one that you merged onto that same workspace. Okay? Um, fonts. So fonts are similar in the effect that you have to unzip them. and then you have to install. Um, if you have a font that offers an open type font file or OTF, then I, I always use those. Um, now, because it is open in the software, after I install these, and what I did here to select multiples is I held down control on my keyboard and then clicked on the file name and then I right clicked, I'm going to choose install. Now because I'm installing these while I have the software open, in order for me to utilize these as a text option, I have to close out of the software and then reopen the software. And that's just the way that it works, period. Um, even if you purchase a design from the store or font design from the store, you would have to close out of the software after installing it and then open the software again, okay? If you guys have any questions, feel free to post a comment or a question. Um, I hope you found this helpful.